Hi, everybody. So here, uh, we're, we're finishing up 33 and we're moving on to something special this video. Uh, this is me temporarily, permanently attaching the flat motor. Uh, what's that, you ask? So in this case, the proper hardware is actually in place. And we wind up safety wiring this flat motor in place. So at the bottom, uh, the kit tells you to drill a hole perpendicular through the edge of the flat motor piston. And you can see me here, so I've got the safety wire in place, and I'm wiring it to the bolt at the bottom, right? Because that piston does free float inside the column. Uh, so it can theoretically twist out over time. So that just keeps it from being able to torque itself uh, outward. And then we're happy with that. Uh, I still have to put the flat position sensor in place. That will allow the Garmin system to easily switch between flat positions, and I won't have to sit there trying to time the flaps by counting, you know. Hit the flap switch, one, two, three, and, you know, let go, right, to get into the approach position. One, it'll never be accurate. Two, I just prefer something else to it. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to let Garmin take care of it for me. So, moving on to something very interesting. So, this is technically the beginning of Chapter 35, but it's not really. So, the, Chapter 35 is the top front fuselage, and that's the, all the pieces you see put together up on the bench, right? So, it's the it's the fl top front part of the fuselage. It also, that attaches to the firewall. It's also the side rails for the fuselage uh, area, and it's the panel. Now, your kit doesn't actually come with a panel, right? It does come with the outline of the panel uh, that has the nut plates where the panel will screw onto. And that's all you really need. With that, you've got a template of what the full-size panel is going to be. So what I did was I've got this uh, piece of spare aluminum. I want to say it's like 48 thousandths. It's not all clad, so I didn't mind you know, using it for this. And I'm cutting it out to be the exact shape of the panel. I then cut it into thirds. Well, I, I outline all the places. You can just see me doing it there using Sharpies. Uh, I'm going to cut this thing into thirds. Uh, some people don't cut their panels into thirds for this plane. Some people keep them whole. Uh, you, you, you actually have the ability to have three pieces of the panel. So you get the left wing, the right wing, and then the center radio stack. Uh, you know, personal preference on what you want it to look like. Uh, for the practice panel, I'm definitely cutting into thirds. And then after that's done, I brought all the pieces home, set the camera up, got my Sharpie, and opened up the Garmin installation manual. Took the manual and said, okay, this is, and I got the templates for, this is the size of the cutouts that you're going to need for your panel for all these different pieces, right? For the, for the G3X system, all the different radios that will be in the center, etc., etc. And then I outlined them on the pieces of aluminum. Uh, I don't have that footage because I didn't actually hit the record button on this piece of camera and that's my fault so i apologize but at the end of the video i do have pictures of what it looks like when we're done and put back so you'll see those towards the end uh they're they're relatively big pieces the the hard part is that bandsaw that i have only has a nine inch gap to it right so i outlined the entire thing <laughs> on a piece of aluminum and then i realized well, I can't really cut that out. I, I want to cut this thing into thirds, but I can't actually cut it into thirds because it only has a 9-inch opening. Uh, so, what do I do there? So, thankfully, I had enough spare stock that I was able to just cut that thing in half and then trim the left and the right wings. And now I'm making a separate area uh, for the radio stack. So, all three of these pieces have holes in them, right? Well, they will attach to the nut plates. You can have all of these attached, or none of them attached, or one of them attached, right? So it's not required to have a full panel piece, right? It can be modular. Uh, <clears throat> one of the things I think that's very interesting when you start doing this is you start thinking about the actual requirements and the mission, right, of the plane, right? I want an IFR plane. I want something that's safe. I want something that... Uh, is useful for everybody. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? But more importantly than anything, I need something that I know that I can build, uh, that I can actually service myself without having to go to some kind of avionics professional. Right? And that's part of the joy of this 
processes. You know, first you learn body work. Then you're going to start learning everything else. Electronics, braking systems, engine systems, fuel, air, all of that. And I will admit that this scares me the most. Okay, so you can see that it fits. Uh, let's go ahead and pan to some pictures of what it looks like with the pieces outlined right here. Now, I, I don't have all the tiny minutia, and as you can see, I don't have like the starter uh, system. I don't have all the switches drawn. Those will be, you know, all the switches will be at the bottom on the left. Uh, but this is just the rough outline of all the major pieces. So, uh, in the next video, we're actually going to be working on the elevator systems. So, thank you for joining us, and a season.